Hey guys, Bob here. Watch me take this ordinary can of Campbell's tomato soup and turn it into a cake. All right, gangs, this is fairly straightforward, real easy. There's not a lot of ingredients. Um, I will leave the recipe to all of this cake in the description. But anyway, you need your spices, raisins, an egg, butter, the star of our show, which is tomato. Use the low sodium, there is a reason, I'll let you know why. Um, also, you need your sugar, and also your flour, because what we're going to do is sift this three times, and then we'll go from there. So, come on, join me. What we're going to do is add all these spices except the baking soda, in with our flour and we're going to sift it three times so let's start there all right there we go all our spices is in with the flour what we're going to do is sift this three times the reason why is is to distribute all of this goodness through the flour so the idea is to make sure all of these spices is mixed in with your flour. All right, there is our flour sifted. Nope, that was. All right, sifted three times. There's our flour. Next step we're going to do is we're going to take our Campbell's soup, this is low sodium, and the rest of our spices and the uh, baking soda, and mix it in with the tomato soup. All right, there you go. So, I, like I said, I'll leave the recipe and all the ingredients down in the description for you. So what we're gonna do now is push this aside, and now we're going to cream our butter and our sugar together, and then add the egg. All right, before we do this, you need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Anybody know how many tablespoons are in a quarter cup? Yes, gentlemen in the back. Yes, you're correct. There's half a stick of butter. And for those who are keeping track, I'm using unsalted butter. Three, two, one. All right, that's what it looks like when you, uh, with your sugar and your butter and your egg. So what we're going to do now is add all of this to this pan and then we're going to mix it. Now we'll use our tomato soup with our baking soda in it. Then we're going to give this a mix. We're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. And then after that, we're going to fold in our uh, raisins. And I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Okay. All right. That's what it should look like when it is mixed together. Make sure you scrape your sides. Now we're going to fold in the raisins. And then we're going to add it to our butt pan. I said butt, not butt. All right, there you go. This is a spring form pan. This will make it a little easier to get it out of here. Uh, 350 degrees center rack in the oven. Uh, let it go for about a half hour, 40 minutes. Insert a knife and or toothpick. When it comes out clean, it's done. We'll let it cool and then we'll ice this bad puppy. All right, there you go. It's about 35 minutes in a 350 degree oven. We're going to let this cool and then we'll go from there. All right, there you go. It's out of the pan. It's cool. So I decided I'm not going to overrun this with cream cheese frosting. I think I'm just going to make a simple orange glaze to go over top of this. 
So it's basically just powdered sugar with a little bit of orange juice, but I'm going to show you a trick. All right, this is pretty simple. Some powdered sugar, some OJ. We're going to add the OJ to this, and we're going to make a simple syrup out of it to pour over the top of this cake. All right, here's the trick. We're going to use a small funnel, and we're just going to all the way around. You have little lumps of sugar, that's okay. And we're going to let that soak in. Three, two, one. All right, guys. Let's give this a taste. Looks good. Ready? Wow. Believe it or not, it tastes like spice cake. Okay, I need to go answer that. We'll see you in the next one.